You and I synchronize in perpendicular universes. You flip heads, I get tails. You proceed calmly, forgetting me, so I become frenetic thunder and lightning, blades of light striking the ground where I stand, I can't unwrite you. And as your million possible worlds expand, mine shrinks down to the remnant of your scalding hand printed on my throat. You live in fast forwards. We exist in rewinds, but I'm stuck in the middle, floating down time in a boat that has no safety lines or anchor, yet somehow I'm safe here. Shielded in this moment that plunges off the temporal spectrum and wreaks havoc on the space-time continuum, collapsed mass tears apart the cosmos and creates an event horizon which starts in the light that you stole from my eyes and blasts through my body. Shockwaves leave a black hole burning in the cavity where I used to be. And if anyone ever loves me again, I'll suck them up. Gravitational hugs turn to skull-crushing kisses, love measured out in liters and meters per square second. That poor astronaut miscalculated the force of this emptiness. His arms and legs twist as he falls toward the no center, becomes part of the ripped fabric of space, red-shifted body dimming as he swims toward that central singularity, swept up with captured golden dust all swirling into blackness. I keep his opal bones to bury inside me. Because that's what I am. A tombstone, an obsidian obsoleteness that's mapped by its absence, detected through the clue of the luminous corona that only serves as proof of the brutal funeral held for the masses trapped within a point of no return. A void that's never satisfied, continually craving celestial bodies to fill the infinite hunger of the abyss and in the end, always eats itself whole.